mic trans oops my mic not also be working Okay, so we do the quick test of the other hand key tone, so it is time to memorize my previous video.
Okay, I'll start. Yes, honestly. I must have we are get some flavor touching. And then she was that bugger I was gonna work for free and mm-hmm. we don't lock the books from <laughs> from RI home, then from R I then back from home she locked here. Can you find the book anyway? Yeah then must we must trash her, must give delivery trash, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so nice right here. But I'm not nice, so I have to take them. I need to help my mom again. I don't do this.
Phoenix, you can see your Phoenix. Okay, huh? Thumbs up. Oh, it's okay. You all cannot see. You all cannot do. Okay, open up and up. For the total of the agent and phase, so there must be one. Yes. You don't know how to warm right when you are those QA. You just move it, move it um, back and forth on the, on the Bunsen burner. Okay, heating is you leave it right over the Bunsen burner. And technically, if it's warm, uh, you can touch the test tube without hurting yourself. Uh. Okay? If you touch the test tube and it's an ouch, uh, that means you over it already. Okay, you can see whether you can fill out the remaining or waiting. I didn't want to draw for that. Yeah. Actually, you should do the bottom first if you feel. Yeah, then when you feel, right, as you feel, you try to memorize the reagent and condition. Okay? So usually when you do this test, right, you do the bottom. So as you feel up, like, usually, you have, I think this one is easier. Because you roughly know, like, you very oxidate. Even if you don't know, right, you see the, what the reagent do, you see oxidation, you roughly know what happened with you, right? Or if they tell you condition, you roughly know. So as you fill in this one, right, then you memorize the condition. Okay? Then after when you do it, right, so you start like this. Right? Start like this. So after when you're done, then you flip. Then you, your memory more fresh to fill in this one. 
Okay, I saw a lot of you have got a lot of blanks. Don't know if it's not enough time or you haven't really go and remember. Yeah, I saw something from Okay, uh, okay, another thing uh, since this thing didn't be really test is um what's the difference between uh tolan region and feelings region or feelings test. They both test already have it. You want to test at least the kit already have no test both the Which one? Yeah, you can get it. Which one test which one? Oh shit. In the Tolan test, I need to get it. Tolan test, I need Is it? And the aromatic. Aliphatic and aromatic. Is it feeling means feeling? Means you are feeling. Yeah, so. <laughs> So feeling is what? So what's the purpose of these two tests? Okay, the main thing uh, is stolen, right? Allows you to differentiate ketones from aldehydes. Okay, because ketones will not give you the mirror, the silver mirror, right? right? Okay, now about feeling. Yeah, or mainly actually to identify uh, benzaldehyde or aromatic aldehyde groups, okay? Okay, I don't know whether y'all remember the last lesson I mentioned. Okay, this is an aromatic aldehyde. Okay, which is benzaldehyde. Okay, it's aromatic. This is not. Okay, this one is not aromatic. I remember. Okay. Then another one, another recap is um, the mechanism. Okay. Okay, so this is the mechanism, huh? so don't forget your steps, huh? Uh I think the book didn't mention the the, the steps if let's say you use sodium hydroxide. Okay. So if you use sodium hydroxide or any kind of a uh, strong alkaline, then right, okay, it will react with the HCN. Okay, then it will give you KCN plus H two. Sorry, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong. wrong. It's not that, it's not that. Okay, can I go in? Not that. Okay, you will actually uh, remove SC. Okay, it's not exactly like that, lah. It's something. If you want, you can fill it in the book. Okay, your HCN is a weak acid, so it partially dissociates. Okay. Wait for my fat hand to get away. Okay, so it partially dissociates. Okay, when you add a base, right? Okay, then it undergoes neutralization to form water. Okay, neutralization is a single arrow reaction. Ah. Okay, so when your H plus drop, my LCP, what will happen? Okay, good. Okay, by LCP, one shift to the right, not left. Okay, right, not left. Yeah. Okay, shift to the right to produce more C and profile. Number one, equation number one. 
side to the final opposite side. Okay, so either that or you add in a, a strong nuclear power so or source okay, by adding a cyanide salt, okay, potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide. Okay, so having uh, extra, the whole point is actually to generate more of the nuclear farm. Okay, so either through adding base or adding a, a cyanide source. Okay, but don't forget, we, we still need to have the H because it's an addition reaction. Huh? Okay, so don't wonder, don't go and wonder about why I cannot just use a KCM without the HCM. Okay, because we still need the H for the addition. Okay, then, okay, after that, your cyanide. Okay, lone pair is on the carbon. Uh. Don't forget, lone pair is on carbon, not on the nitrogen. Uh. Okay, so lone pair is on the carbon. Okay, attack the electron division carbon in the carbonyl group. Okay, then remember your arrow. Okay, whenever the arrow goes from the bond to the atom, the bond will disappear and the charge will go to the atom. Okay, so try to be more familiar with this. I think you all notice there's a lot of this confession now, right? Ask you to draw the curly arrows. I give you some very uh, not so useful hints. Okay. Then after that, okay, the charge is on the oxygen. So the oxygen will attack the hydrogen so that the hydrogen can add in. Uh, Alright. Then the sunlight will be regenerated through this process. Okay. Then what is the ratio of KCM plus H2 to the four? What about KCN? Yeah, oh, that one is for uh, acid hydrolysis. I will go through that today. Right now. We are moving on to cover the acid. Okay, so that's a quick recap on your um, aldehydes and ketones. Uh. Alright, so now let's go through carbon the acids and derivatives. Okay, now in this chapter, uh, there are three they say, uh, derivatives. Uh, there's actually two derivatives only. Uh, okay? So you are dealing with carboxylic acids, acid chlorides, and um, esters. Okay. okay. So by now you all are very familiar with carboxylic acids, really, right? What ways do you all know can form carboxylic acids? Oxidation of aldehydes, okay. Okay, any other ways? Oxidation of primary alcohol. Okay, oxidation of primary alcohol. Reflux or distill? Reflux. Okay, reflux. What happens if you distill? Okay, this one is still on. Okay, what other ways? Still have one. Huh? Oxidizing alkenes. Oh, okay, can. Some more? Good. Peeping is it? <laughs> Because this was a question you asked me just now. You say the CN is the sulfuric acid. Okay. So CN acid hydrolysis of the nitriles. Uh, okay, will give you the carboxylic acid. Okay. So these are actually all the ways you can form carboxylic acid. Okay. One more is a bit odd. Uh, okay, it's actually um hydrolysis of esters. Okay, because Carboxylic acids and alcohols form esters, right? So if you break the ester, you can form back the carboxylic acid. Okay. So how again? Yeah. Okay now. So um naming you should be quite familiar, yeah. Just the you have to include the carbon in the carboxylic acid, okay, when you're naming. Okay, so this methanoic acid, okay, this ethanoic acid, okay. So as you can see, ethanoic has one CH3 group and one COH. Propanoic acid has two uh, 
carbons in the alkyl group and then one COH. Okay, then this one over here is benzoic acid. Okay, then we have this dicarboxylic acid, okay, which is ethane dioic acid, and then you have this kind of uh, hexane one six dioic acid. So they have um two carboxylic acid groups. Okay, so if they have two carboxylic acid group, then when you react with, for example, sodium, you get one more hydrogen gas. Okay, instead of half a mole, usually it's half a mole if you only have one group, right? Okay, then uh, benzene one for again, this one has two. Okay, can have more than two, can. Okay, now uh, properties. Okay, this one go back a bit to chem bonding. Okay, if you remember in chem bonding, okay, uh, both carboxylic acid and esters, okay, they can form hydrogen bonding. Okay, but the ones in carboxylic acid is stronger, so you can see they have a higher bonding point. Okay, because they have an extra double bond O group present to form hydrogen bonding with the hydrogen in the OH. Okay. So you will find that boiling point is higher than uh, alcohols. Okay, dimer, you all remember dimer from chem bonding? Okay, so for dimer, uh, it's also, okay, the, the drawing maybe, the drawing will be incomplete, right? You want to help me complete this drawing? What's missing in this drawing for the hydrogen bonding? Or rather the dimer drawing? The lone has? Can you some more? The charges, okay, so fill it in your diagram. Okay, so this one delta minus delta plus delta plus delta minus. Okay. So remember, uh, in hydrogen bonding, uh, every time you need to uh, illustrate hydrogen bonding, the four things that you have to show. Yeah, I guess, what's the four things? Uh, Long pair some more. Line 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 line. Okay, the bridge, okay, some more. Got four things. What's wrong? Labor yeah, labor hydrogen bonding. Okay, always make sure you have these four things whenever you illustrate hydrogen bonding. Anything missing, you lose one mark. Then if it's only two mark, then go ahead. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, carboxylic acids are completely miscible in water because they form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Okay. So you tend to find that uh, carboxylic acids are soluble. Okay, because of the you all remember the they can form uh dipo interactions. Okay, okay. Not dipo interactions, right? Sorry, I can scrap that not dipo interaction, uh. hydrogen bonding. Okay, the word dipo interaction is for ions. This one not ion. Okay. Now if you have a R group that is <clears throat> very large in L and MR, right? Then sorry, let's rest. If you have a R group that's very large in MR then your carboxylic acid will be like slightly soluble. Okay, because there's like hydrophilic group and hydrophobic group. Okay, okay hydrophilic means water loving. Huh? That means they can form hydrogen bonds with water. Then if the R group is very big, it's hydrophobic, so it will repel water. Okay, so it's like semi-soluble. Right? Okay, then benzoic acid is so, uh, soluble in uh, hot water and crystallizes readily when cooled. So take note, uh, this is a, uh, uh, one of those uh, structural elucidation clues. They'll tell you that it's a crystalline solid at room temperature. This one is likely to be benzoic acid. Okay, so you can write uh, crystalline solid at room temperature. Okay. okay, move on this page. Okay, so we already went through all the, the ways that you can form carboxylic acid and you you already seen this in the other chapters, right? Okay, you can use either KMNO4 or potassium dichromate to uh, change primary alcohols or aldehydes to carboxylic acid. 
okay quite easy yeah okay if you have alcohol then you have water form okay if you have aldehyde there's no water form okay so please make sure you all know how to balance the equation so how you need you know, to write the full equation out okay Okay, for nitriles, you can use any strong acid, okay, either sulfuric or HCl, okay. So, uh, if you have any CN group, you just turn into COOH, but you need to know how to balance the equation, okay. You have to use water and acid, okay, then you balance off with NH4+. Okay, you can also, okay, guys, look at the next one over here. You can also use base, okay? The equation is a bit different, huh? If you use base, right, you only need one more of water. Okay? Because um, base provide one O already, huh? but then acid don't provide O, so you need two moles of water to add two O's to the carboxylic acid. Make sense, right? Okay? Then just take note that, okay, um, if you use acid, you will not get ammonia. Okay? If you use base, you'll get the ammonia. Okay, think of it this way. Uh, if let's say I use acid, right, the acid would have react with the ammonia and give me NH4+. You remember? I thought you ought to remember it this way. Okay, then if you use base, base react with ammonium, I want to give you what? Ammonia gas, right? Okay, so you will not have a uh, reaction with the, S, uh, the acid hydrolysis to give you ammonia. Because acid would have reacted with the ammonia to give you NH4+. Similarly, you wouldn't have this one reacting with the base giving you an ammonium ion because the ammonium ion would have reacted with the base to give you ammonia gas okay 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 benzoic acid can be uh, prepared by the oxidation of methyl benzene not just methyl benzene right okay remember as long as the carbon here is not tertiary right right you can break it down to a carboxylic acid you all recall yeah okay. Okay, so what uh, reaction do carboxylic acids react? Uh, actually, they react like your acid. Okay, remember your acids react with three things, right? They react with base, carbonates, and metal. Right, metals above, you remember your reactivity series, metals above copper, right? Or rather above hydrogen, sorry. Above hydrogen. Okay, so, so similarly, they'll react with NaOH to give you water. Okay, react with carbonate is to give you carbon dioxide and water. This one, I think, no, no, they always use this as a clue. Okay, if they tell you that one more give you two more of hydrogen, right, then you know that there's two carboxylic acid present. Okay, so draw a star here and be familiar with this. Okay, this one a bit odd. La. It's not say one more of acid give you one more hydrogen. Okay, one more of acid give you half a more of hydrogen. Okay, so. Usually, usually, they like to use this to trick you because uh, a lot of the students will just think everything is one more to one more. So whenever they see like, oh, uh, one more hydrogen produced, they think that there's one carboxylic acid group. But actually, if you have one more hydrogen, you have two more so carboxylic acid group present. Okay. And carboxylic acids will only react with, uh, sorry, um, Carbonate, sorry. Uh, carbonates will only react with the carboxylic acid group. Okay, they will not react with phenols. They will not, will not react with alcohols. Okay, so quick recap. You remember that table? I told you this one. Drill it into your head. Right? Okay, you have alcohol. You have phenol. Okay, then you have carboxylic acid. Remember this? Then you have sodium. So then hydroxide, and then so then carbonate. You remember this? Okay. So remember, carboxylic acid will react with all of them. All right. Phenol will only react with sodium and sodium hydroxide, and then this one will react with alcohol only. Okay. This one is very very important. Okay. Always you they always you like uh, you will find that this will definitely be will come in useful. Every every prelim, every A level, you will definitely use this table. Okay, so always uh have it imprinted in your head.
I think Dale is due to SAD. SAD. Mm, correct. I'll draw a game nicely. Mm -hmm. So Like being more triangle here. Okay. Okay, now. Um, okay, so they already told you, uh, okay, evolution of CO2 with Na2CO3 shows you that carboxylic acids are stronger acid than phenol. Okay, which does not liberate CO2 with sodium carbonate. Okay, esters. Okay, something you should have been very familiar in all levels, but too bad your COVID batch right eliminated. Okay, now alcohols with carboxylic acids. Okay, take note, phenols cannot be used here. Okay, what does this mean? That means you cannot form this. Okay, this reaction is not valid. Okay, this reaction is not valid. Okay, that's what they mean here. Phenols cannot be used here because um remember uh, formation of esters, right? They wrote here condensation reaction. Can you also add? Nucleophilic substitution. Okay, this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay, whereby your carbon here in the carboxylic acid is the electron deficient carbon, the one carrying the delta plus. Okay, phenol, right, uh, will have phenoxide as the nucleophile to attack if they can form but because of the charge being delocalized into the benzene ring okay this is a weak nucleophile so it's not strong enough to attack this electron deficient carbon to form the phenyl ester okay whereas for alcohol because of the electron donating group okay the alkoxide ions are usually strong enough to be the uh Nucleophile, okay, with the presence of uh, catalyst, uh, okay, to form the ester. Can you follow? Can you use a phenoxide ion? Cannot. The phenoxide ion on its own is not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they can form with acid chloride because the carbon is more electron deficient. Okay. Okay. So this one, not strong enough. This one is strong enough. Okay. Then the naming, okay, the one with the the one attached to the old group, okay, will be the alcohol group that you are naming. Then the something O8, right, is this group over here. Okay, so if you notice the name is crisscross, right? Okay, the ethanol is on this side, then the alcohol group is on this side. Okay, you will use corn sulfuric acid as a catalyst, okay? Firstly, because uh, corn sulfuric acid, okay, we, uh, the lack of water due to the concentration, okay, will absorb the water form from the reaction. So when this is removed by your corn sulfuric acid, okay, yeah. when this is removed by your corn sulfuric acid, then by LCP, equilibrium shift to the right to produce more water, right? Which also at the same time produce more ester. Okay. Okay, 
okay, this line already, so uh, okay, bond, it breaks this bond and break that bond to form the group, not important. Okay, so again, remember, uh, phenyl acids cannot be prepared using this. Uh, they, will, you will, they will test you this a lot in MCQ, okay? Very, very heavily test on MCQ. So to form phenyl ester, right, we need this thing called an acid chloride. Okay, what is acid chloride? Okay, we actually uh, learned this in... No, oh, have a learned it. Okay, acid chlorides are groups, right, that contain this. Okay, this over here is your acid chloride group. Okay, so this group here is an acid chloride. Okay, what's so special is that it's more acidic than carboxylic acid. Okay, why? Because okay, it has two electronegative groups. Okay, making this carbon more electron deficient than the one in carboxylic acid. It's only got the O. Okay, OH is not considered very electronegative, so don't need to look at it. Okay, so this is considered a very highly acidic group. Okay, so we'll talk about how uh, how to form this one first, then after we talk about the reactions, or mainly how we can form your esters with phenol on top of alcohol. Okay, so if you look at this, right, okay, formation of acid chloride. They a bit like your alcohols, okay? They actually uh, replace the OH group with a halogen group. Okay, either you use SOCLA, okay, SOCl2, okay, it's not called SOCLA, your seniors call it SOCLA. <laughs> okay, either you use SOCl2, uh, I think it's called Tylenol correct, okay, or uh, phosphorus pentyl correct, ECL5, okay? Take note of the same. And similar uh, products in your period 3, you remember? Period 3 have this, right? Okay, if you use PCL5, you get POCL3 and HCL. Okay, which is skinny fumes. But this one, these two, you have to separate these two. Remember, uh, uh, SOCL2 is always the preferred one because these two are gaseous. So they can just be removed and you're left with your acid chloride. Okay, so you see, to produce acid chloride, the use of SOCl2 is preferred. Okay, because these two are gases, then they easily escape. Oh, I wonder if the neighbor is like testing the system or something. Yeah, they've been renovating. Okay, so remember, uh, recall in alcohols when we do the reaction is very similar. Uh, it's actually also glucose mix up. Everything is glucose mix up. Okay, remember in alcohols, we also have the same reaction, right? Your alcohols plus SOCl2, then they form what? They form your halogen alkane, right? Okay, no. okay. so the reaction is similar. It's all on the OH. Okay? Okay. So if you want to take a note, take note the reaction can write, this is nucleophilic substitution. I don't think they ever asked them, but FYI, okay? Okay, so this is a nucleophilic oh, no, okay, sub reaction. Okay, here formation of primary alcohols. Okay. Okay, now um you you can so the way you can oxidize um carbon uh, uh, oh, sorry the way you can oxidize primary alcohols to carboxylic acid you can also reduce carboxylic acid to alcohols okay you can use the term aluminium hydride okay l i a l h for is the thing so incomplete can you add in the dry ether Dry eater. Okay, lithium aluminum hydride reacts violently with water, so reaction is oh no, not being right, it's so useless. <laughs> right here, la, right? Who will go and think about it? Okay, you can also use you cannot use uh sodium brown hydride. What is sodium brown hydride used for?
reduce aldehydes and ketones. Okay. Okay. So, uh, question. Lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether cannot reduce what? Cannot reduce what? Can reduce everything except? Remember that thing, I asked you to write the thing. Then I asked you to cancel. Alkenes. AC is the hydrogen gas. Okay? Hydrogen gas cannot reduce ACE. What's ACE? Hmm. Okay? So take note, uh, hydrogen gas with platinum catalyst cannot. Uh, they draw a cross over this. Okay. Cannot reduce carboxylic acids. Okay. Okay. Then we compare the as why they so fast compare as we can skip the SVD comparison and come back in a bit. Uh. Turn to page 299, we move on to the acid chorus first. Okay, so as mentioned, KIC chlorides are uh, most reactive. Okay, they have an additional electron rejoin chlorine, okay, which makes it more positively charged than the carboxylic acids and the acid derivatives. Okay, so the first reaction, okay, they were hydrolyzed to give you the weak acid and the strong fumes of HCl. Okay, and actually some of them will dissolve, then they give you the strong acid HCl. See, you see here, vigorous occurring readily in the core, he is evolved and you actually form strong HCl. So you have some fumes liberated, then some of them dissolve in the water, give you strong HCl. Okay, so if you add silver nitrate to this solution, immediately you get precipitate. Okay, because the Cl is already floating around in the solution, waiting to combine with silver to give you the precipitate. Okay. Then we compare the ease of hydrolysis. Okay, remember we previously did uh, the chloroalkane and the chlorobenzene. You remember? Okay, with these two comparisons previously, right? Why this one cannot hydrolyze? You remember? Explain to me. You should be very good at this by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's answer. <laughs> More specifically. Uh -huh. No, the P a bit of the chlorine. Okay, hence strengthening the CCL bond. Okay, making it impossible to hydrolyze. Okay, on the other hand here, okay, because of the um the carbon being very electronic, this bond is weaker, so it's easier to break. Okay. So the reactivity is in this order. Draw a star here. Highly test the question. Okay, we will always ask you to compare the rate that the PTC evolved, compare the ease of hydrolysis, or maybe describe an experiment to compare the ease of hydrolysis. Okay, now I make you describe. How to describe the experiment? To compare the ease of hydrolysis. See on the next page. See, no, see, no peak. <laughs> so, Okay, so the one that sounds precipitate immediately. Yes. So actually, don't even need to walk. Yeah. You don't even need to walk. Okay, so you add immediately this. The one that immediately sounds precipitate is this one. 
And for the remaining two, right, you have to add sodium hydroxide and first before you add your silver nitrate. Because this one, the chloride will not be released without adding a base. Right, remember, nucleophilic suck in halogenic alkanes. Okay, you need to carry out halogenic alkanes before this chlorine comes up. Okay. Yeah. Then this one, you add or you don't add, also cannot come off. Okay. Did you have finished your test? You got back already? You had a test, right? Yeah, I yeah. only came to test two weeks ago, right? I'll show you what I did. 15 out of 30, right? 59 out of? 15 out of 30. Ha, you barely passed. Then you have to choose. Let me check this is the boy who never the back school back. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Area. Okay. I'll go bring that guy in. I scream at your mistakes. No, it's a good Don't worry, the girl's turn will be next week. No, is it? Next week again. So I just went through this portion already. The ease of hydrolysis can be followed by adding uh, silver nitrate, so any Cl minus produce will form your PT. Okay. Then you will add NaOH to test for the uh the what is this? We form NaOH. This will form immediate. You don't even need NaOH. This one, huh? You don't need to use any H when you do for acid chloride. Okay. Okay, so this one has been repeated a few times in the app. I'll skip here. Okay. okay. You can highlight this one important. This will help you to memorize the explanation. Okay, ethanol chloride undergoes hydrolysis more readily than chloroethane because carbon atom carries a considerably larger positive charge. Or you can say that it's a more electron deficient. Okay, since it is attached to two strongly electronegative atoms. Okay. Okay. Okay, acyl chlorides are very reactive. They fume in moist air when they react with water. They are very reactive towards nucleophilic reagents. Okay, that means your CR atom being replaced. Okay. So this was the part I was telling you all about the formation of esters. Okay. You can put a note here. No catalyst required because it's so reactive. Okay, no catalyst needed. Okay, no catalyst needed okay, because it's so highly electron deficient. Okay, your weak, uh, your, even your weak nucleophile like phenol is able to attack without a catalyst. So this is how you form phenol esters. Okay, but for if you have benzoyl chloride also, you can form. But you don't need, uh, if you have benzoic acid, yeah, benzoic acid still can form esters. Okay? Okay. Here we actually is rapid, it doesn't require heating, and you notice something? It's single arrow. Okay, it's single arrow compared to the usual uh, esterification. Okay? It's careful, uh, don't write wrongly, uh, you lose marker. Okay, reaction is rapid, it does not require heating going to completion, so it's useful for making esters. Okay, so in particular, phenol esters, which cannot be prepared by the reaction of carboxylic acid and phenol. Okay, then acid chloride will also, in a way, uh, form other things. Okay, with ammonia, you form amides. Okay, this is the, we will cover amides in the next chapter. In nitrogen compound. Next week, yeah. Okay. So ethanol chloride with ammonia will give you um this is a primary amide. Okay, ethanamide. If you have three carb, if you have two, two more, more carbon, that is propionamide. Okay, and HCl. Okay, you can also uh let it react with uh, amines to form a secondary amide or tertiary amide according to what you use here. But in this case, this will be a Secondary amide. Okay. 
whereas the one in front is a primary amide. Okay, it's also a nuclear sub-reaction. Okay, the lone pair on the nitrogen allows it to act as a nuclear pair. Okay, so you can write here, this is a nuclear sub-reaction. Okay. Okay. All good. Okay. Let's move on to esters. I will move back later to the properties. Okay. Esters. Okay. Yeah. Now you you should be a bit more familiar with that. So actually, the only reaction that esters undergo is actually they just reverse back to what they form, as in what you what was used to form them. Okay. So esters has the same molecular formula as carboxylic acid, okay, but are neutral. So actually esters and carboxylic acids are what? Yes, okay, esters and carboxylic acid okay, equals to carboxylic group isomers. So if you see like the formula they give you has contained two, or two oxygen, right? Then it's likely to be either esters or carboxylic acids. Then again, it can also be two OH. But if they contain the same, uh, if their formula is similar to each other, then it's likely either one of these. Okay. Now esters have lower boiling point because unlike carboxylic acid, they So okay, you know that they cannot form hydrogen bonding. Okay, because you see there's no H bond to there's no H bond to the the bond uh, to the O in the group. Okay, and esters are insoluble in water and identified by their strong fruity smell, aka perfume. Okay, okay. seven oxygen will be very 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 why you start? Why your esters very sticky? Oh, your esters so strong. It's a very sticky. Okay, now for this one esters, okay, we already went through it. Either you use carboxylic acids and alcohol with the use of catalyst, or you can use acid chloride without the use of catalyst. Okay. Okay. Then you know, the alkali water is eliminated from the OH group or the acid and the H of the alcohol. Okay, not. Not the other way around. Eh? Okay, OH is on the carboxylic and H from the alcohol. Okay, because remember your your nuclear file is this this group over here. Okay. Okay, then it's really interesting. Okay, I explain this thing to you. Huh? This one usually more in MCQ. Uh, for you to get usually remember that this question they would like to they are to use deuterium. Okay, this this is the information to help you. Uh, handle the deuterium questions. Okay, this is called isotopic. Is my connection too bad? Y'all can see your book, eh? In case you think I lost page 301. <laughs> okay, now, uh, isotopic labeling. Okay, so what you do is you use alcohol containing radioactive O18 atom. Okay, so if, um, okay, this was found that the water did not contain the uh, O18 atom. Okay, that means that if you use, uh, the, you see, you see, you use, if you use alcohol where this contains O18, right? If the water, if the water was uh, the if the O in water was taken from the alcohol, right? Then this H two O would have contained the radioactive oxygen, but it didn't. Okay, which means that the O H was taken from the carboxylic acid. Okay. So anyway, um, this is not a good way to produce esters because reaction is slow and reversible, and the U is always low, and phenol esters cannot be produced by this method. Okay, so actually the better way to produce esters is using acid chloride. 
Okay, because they give you 100% you. Okay, single arrow, 100% you. Okay. So this one I will skip one since we just went through. But same thing, this one eliminates the HCL. Okay. Can. Um. Sometimes we'll ask you a question like, uh, uh, you can use, uh, you can add sodium or sodium hydroxide to increase the U in this reaction for phenyl ester. Okay, it's because um, sodium and sodium hydroxide will react with the phenol to give you the phenoxide ion, okay, which is a stronger nucleophile than phenol itself. Okay, because phenol itself, you have a very small U of phenoxide ion. So in a way, phenol is a very weak nucleophile. Okay, of esters, okay. This is the reverse of esterification. Okay, basically you just break it up to form what you use to form it. Okay. Esters are easily hydrolyzed to uh, by heating other reflux with acid or base because they are more resistant to hydrolysis under uh, neutral condition. Okay, so actually that's why right if you have clothes made with polyester, you heard before. Then if you all wash it with anything that is acidic or basic and, and if you use warm water, right, you will find that your clothes will stretch. Okay, because it will actually break some of the ester bonds. Okay. So acid hydrolysis, okay, you can see you can reflux with uh, any strong acid. So uh, it will just break back uh, into your components. Okay, everything will be protonated in a way. Uh. Okay, you get ethanoic acid and you get alcohol. Okay, but, 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 if you use NaOH, okay, think of it this way. If I, if I form these two, right, but using NaOH, what happens? NaOH will react with carboxylic acid, right? Then I will get sodium ethanoate. But alcohol, don't react with NaOH, right? So it stays as alcohol. Alcohol. Okay, use this, use the... Use this property, uh, just now that table to remember. Okay, I tell you why. Uh, because your hydrolysis, uh, will be, your hydrolysis will depend on this table. Do you remember this table? Right? Okay, so here they didn't tell you, so now I'm going to tell you. Okay. Uh, so now you all know how to do acidic hydrolysis, and you know how to do alkaline hydrolysis, right? Then they say uh, sodium salt can be further acidified to liberate. So sometimes, a lot, a lot, sometimes, a lot of times, the question will do that. I don't know why. They will use alkaline hydrolysis followed by acidification to get the carboxylic acid. Okay? Uh, this word more important. The Okay? Now, if now I am going to do hydrolysis of this. Okay. What's the difference between using acid and alkaline? Okay. I give your each a paper, you all draw me the products of the hydrolysis. Yeah, yes. okay, you all draw me the products of the hydrolysis for each other.
Okay, so if you have attempted the ST is easy, right? Usually you get back the full component, the full protonated component. You get this one, and then you get a female of it. Why draw here? Okay, now if you use this one, right? Take note, huh? because your benzo benzoic acid is acidic, right? So think of it this way, you will react with the NaOH. So this is O minus. Okay, and uh, whichever cation, uh, if they use uh, NaOH, then you get Na plus. If they use KOH, they get K plus. No problem. Phenol will also react, right? So you will get the salt. No problem. Okay, so whether you get the salt or not, just re re recall the table. Okay. So that's why if you look back, okay, if you do a uh, carboxylic acid with an alcohol, okay, if you hydrolyze this one, Acid, right? Acid will give you the full component because carboxylic acid don't react as acid, right? So it stays as acid. Alcohol also stays as alcohol because alcohol also don't react with acid, right? But if you use base, the carboxylic acid reacts with the base, right? So you will get the salt. Okay, you will get the salt. And alcohol, does it react with NOH? Plus alcohol and anyway. No, right? So you will get the full component. Kind of. Kind of. Need to memorize only, right? Okay, it should be quite intuitive, right? Okay. I'm going to move back to the properties and I come to examples and then we end this chapter. I'm so far, I'm going to have some nitrogen compounds. Y'all did some practice, right? 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 Okay, turn to page 297. Okay, we will compare the acidity okay, of a few things. Alcohol, water, phenol, and carboxylic acid. Okay, this one, important. Always tested also. Start, start. Okay, carboxylic acids are weak acids. Okay, in water, only a small fraction of the acids are ionized. Okay, they sometimes will test the acid strength of uh, acid chlorides. Okay, for acid chloride, usually they will compare hydrolysis. Okay, so uh, in carboxylic acid, okay, they will uh, give you, they will totally water and give you H3O plus. Okay, then uh, the reason why, okay, now, when it comes to explaining acidity, right, we will always explain, right, how stable the conjugate base is. Okay, we talk about the stability of conjugate base. Okay, in the case of carboxylic acid, right, okay, the conjugate base is very stable because, okay, of this funny thing that I'm telling you, okay, basically the charge is stabilized by resonance over two electronegative oxygen. Okay? Stabilized by the deoxidation of negative charge over the carbon and both oxygen atoms. Okay, you can say you can actually say are stabilized by resonance. Okay. okay. So now compared to alcohols, okay, carboxylic acids are much stronger acids. Okay? Now See now we always talk about the stability of the conjugate base ion. Okay, so ethanol is a weaker acid than water. Why? Because this conjugate base is less stable than OH minus. Okay, because the negative charge is intensified by the electron donating eta group. Okay, so if this is intensified, means that what? It will attract the proton and you will favor the left hand side, right? So you have less acid in that way. You know, follow? 
Okay, so position of equilibrium 2 lies to the left, which means you have less H plus, which makes it a weaker acid. Okay. Then phenol is a stronger acid than ethanol. Why? Because your phenoxide ion is stabilized by the delocalization of the negative charge into the benzene ring. Okay. So this charge, so in terms of this way, the more intensified the charge on the conjugate base, right, the weaker it is. Okay, because the more intensified, the more you will attract the acid to go backward. The less intensified, then the less you will attract, then the more your equilibrium stays to the right, which means the more acid you will have. You follow? Okay. So the phenoxide ion is stabilized by the organization of the negative charge into the benzene group. Right? Now, ethanoic acid is a stronger acid than phenol. The okay? position of equilibrium for reaction 1 is more to the right. Because the only one dissociates more readily to give you H plus ion, and carboxylic ion is formed, is stabilized to a greater extent by the delocalization of the negative charge over the C and the O atom. Okay? So, because this ion is super stable okay, compared to the others, this will make carboxylic acid the strongest acid among them. Oh. You need to be able to. So, when this question comes up, uh, See, you must first start with explaining why ethanol is weaker than water, why phenol is stronger than ethanol, then why carboxylic acid is stronger than the rest. Okay? This is usually a three to five question. Okay, then it will also help for you to write out the equilibrium. And you want you can label the equilibrium. So you can say like oh due to due to this being stable, equilibrium number what uh, will lie will lie to the left or lie to the right, giving you a stronger or weaker acid accordingly. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, this question come out, you don't use the marks, huh? Okay. Then now, if we compare within carboxylic acid, okay, all of them are carboxylic acid. So now we compare their groups, okay? So if you notice something, okay, in this comparison example, what do you notice? The larger the alkyl group, the stronger or weaker the acid. Okay, the weaker the acid. Okay, because the larger your alcohol group, the stronger the electron donating effect. Okay, what happens if you have a stronger electron donating effect? Okay, remember the previous part? Okay, if you have a stronger electron donating group, that means your charge over here is more intensified. If this is more intensified, then it will accept the proton go backwards, then now you have less acid. Hence, the acid is weaker. Okay? So electron donating group decreases acid strength, okay, because it reduces polarization of OH bonds, hence strengthening it, making proton loss more difficult. Okay, and you can just use the second line. I, I prefer second line. Okay, intensifies the negative charge on the O atom, making carboxylic ion less stable. Okay, then you can add a line equilibrium lies to the left. Okay, very blur, but this says equilibrium lies to the left. I swear it's my pencil, it's like blunt. Okay, then on the opposite side, the okay, electron with joint group, it will increase the strength, right? Because it will stabilize the carboxylate ion, okay, or the conjugate base. Okay, so electron withdrawing group will increase the polarization of the OH bond, making it weaken, hence dissociate readily, stabilizes the carboxylic ion. Okay, in other words, the conjugate base. Okay, stabilizes the conjugate base ion by reducing the negative charge on the O atom. Okay, what does it mean? That means, right, the, the carboxylic ion, huh? okay, we are always talking about this one. Okay. So we're always talking about this. What happened to this charge? Is it is the effect such that it is in the electron donating side, right? It's because all the electrons have been pushed towards this, right? So this is intensified. In the withdrawing, that means this charge is dispersed towards this side, right? So if it is dispersed, then it will not attract the H plus so strongly, hence making it a stronger acid because this will be a more stable ion. Okay. So it's always about this charge over here. Okay. 
So you can see in the example, okay, the more chlorine this group has, okay, then the stronger the acid. Okay, because the more chlorine, then the more your charge disperses, hence you have a more stable conjugate base ion. Okay, so presence of electron with join chlorine atoms strengthen the acid. Chloroethanoic acid is 100 times um, as strong as ethanoic acid. When dye, this is still stronger, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they just come in the comparison. Uh. This point is more important. Okay, example, another example is if you have a um, stronger or rather more electronegative um, halogen inside. So fluorine being the most uh, electronegative among the halogens will give you the strongest acid. Okay, due to its ability to stabilize the conjugate ion most. Okay. <coughs> And also how far your electronegative group is from the carboxylate ion will also affect its ability to disperse the charge. Okay, so this one is far, right? So its ability to, the ability to disperse the charge is weaker. This one is nearer, so the ability to disperse the charge is stronger. Okay, hence this is a uh, stronger acid and this is a weaker acid. No problem? Okay. So electron donating group decreases the acidity of aromatic acids while electron withdrawing group increases the acidity of aromatic acids. Uh, in case y'all don't know what he's talking about, they are talking about this. Okay, so this is a benzoic acid, right? So the talking about this, this is an aromatic acid. Okay, so if I have electron donating group, means that, that means I have like maybe CH3. Sorry. Okay, it means that I have like, like this is CH3, this electron donating, right? Like, yeah, maybe I add another um, OH. Yeah, I add a NH2. Okay, these are all electron donating groups. Okay, so this will reduce the acidity of the aromatic acid. Whereas if you have okay, electron withdrawing like chlorine, okay, or if you have um, aldehyde, or if you have like ketone, okay, these are all the electron withdrawing. Okay, the more electron withdrawing, then the stronger the acid. The final group? Smaller in there. You need to look for what is the differentiating in that term. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, last bit of content before we go through the examples. Okay, now, uh, dicarboxylic acids are ionized in stages. So, like all polybasic acids, uh, okay, that means acids with more than one acidic group or, more, or one proton to donate, okay, they will go by stages, okay. So, it will remove one first, but after removing one, right, it's always harder to remove the second. Y'all remember this? Because they really contain a negative charge and you're trying to pull one more proton out of it. Proton is, negative, is positively charged, right? So it's harder to pull a proton out of it. So you will find that your PK, your PK2 will be larger than your PK1. Okay, which means PK2 is uh, uh, less acidic. Yeah. Okay. So you can see PK1 malonic acid is much less than the PK, the PK2 of at the oh, sorry, what is this? PK1 malonic acid is much less than the uh, TKA of ethanoic acid because of, okay, then sometimes you have this case. Okay, my long acid is one of the 
think this one is because you have um the 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 first ion stabilized by intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Okay, maybe you have to draw by the lot of things you see, ah, the delta, delta minus, delta plus. Okay. okay so if your conjugate base can be stabilized by hydrogen bonding, then it will be a strong acid. Okay, you can draw some. This one can be this one is not very often, but I would say often enough. Okay. TK two of the nonic acid is higher than the TKA than of the ethanol acid. This means it's harder to lose the second proton. Okay, because this is more tightly held by the mono anion via intramolecular hydrogen bonding. In addition, okay, it is electrostatically unfavorable to remove its trust from the negatively charged ion. Okay, so two pointers now, huh? please highlight some keywords like okay, negatively charged an ion. Okay, and uh, okay, more tightly cut by the moment and ion by the intramolecular hydrogen bond. Okay, all good. Yeah, so these are all the properties. I went through all the reactions already. Uh, we have one last page of examples on 303 and 304. Okay, two last pages. Okay, but good news. Actually, not too bad, right? Because not like alcohol, so many reactions and no mechanism. And then the properties are all quite intuitive. So this chapter is relatively easy. Okay. Okay, um... This aldehyde okay, is oxidized to this carboxylic acid. Okay, explain why uh, this acid is more is stronger than ethanol acid. Okay, so this one is comparing uh, the electron withdrawing chlorine, right? So, this one is 3 Cl ethanol acid don't have. So now you compare the stability of their conjugate base due to the 3 electron withdrawing atom. Okay, the 3 electron withdrawing chlorine atom. Okay, so the N ion form. Okay, the consequent localization is more stable than the uh, extra electron spread over the whole species. So, this is a stronger acid than the ethanol acid. Okay. So, how do you demonstrate that this is a stronger acid? Uh, you can use the pH filter, the one you will show that this has a lower pH. This has to the same one, especially. And in this second part, the damage here. Okay, now you have this one, MR58. If you see MR60, you all know what is it? Is it intuitive to you already? No, I don't know what I see. Yeah. MR60 must should be quite intuitive to you to your that is ethanol acid. Because they always come at a dimer question. They always say the parent MR is like 120, right? Yeah. So ethanol acid, you see sometimes you see 60, you, you can like just lump that thing as ethanol acid already. Okay, but this is the last it's not ethanol acid. Okay? Is neutral and water soluble, and it does not react with sodium measure or phase solution. So, no aldehyde. And then, no So, probably an ester. But it does with with alkaline, aqueous, alkaline, or iodine. This is the neutral, no carbosic acid, water soluble, so it's all done. Okay. Then, it does not react with sodium. So, no alcohol, no carbosic acid, not only, and it's not aldehyde. Because we are, we have no, uh, no reaction of this thing. Okay, so let's get to alcohol. How do we use this actually contain it? So, we need to complete this. Okay, so first, as a proper loan, as a proper loan in this section, what is a proper loan here? Let's see. Okay, never mind. I don't know this. Okay, so now uh, uh, this is the uh, synthesis. Okay, synthesis, if you have to form this, right, that means um, before you can ever form this, you need to have a, you need to have a, a polarity inside this part here. Okay, if you look at this portion here, right, this is an alkene, but here it's no longer an alkene. So to introduce polarity, means that you have to uh, put in a halogen. 
okay, using FRS. Usually not on the pre method, but it's the only way now. Okay. Then after that, by using atomic uh, NOH, okay, you do elimination. Okay, this is elimination. Okay, which allows you to uh, carry out oxidation. So, uh, when you carry out oxidation, then you will get two carboxylic acid groups. Why is this reaction so good? Why is it called ozone? If I break. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I don't want to bring this very big. Let's just use the MNO form. It's a uh, This little of a question. Well, even better now, now they use P4O10 basically. One minute. I feel like it's coated from another portion where they gave information to us. Okay, so now we have another uh, synthesis route. Okay, they ask you what are the reaction conditions for reaction 1 and 2. Okay, so um, the reaction 1 is a uh, FRS, right? No, no. The alcohol group dot became a CL, so this is FRS. Reaction 2 is acid chloride. So, how do we turn carboxylic acid to acid chloride? Either you use thionyl chloride, SOCl2, or you use PCl5. The preferred one is? Very good. Okay. Then we need to get the ethanol to give us any fumes and fruity ingredients after we react. Okay. So compound B, we get ethanol to give as a. Yeah, I think it's okay. We have a problem of speed. Okay, now. Compound A, B, B, not necessarily in the order. It's either two, three separate solutions to give you OH. Yeah, I'm going to talk about 
Okay, what was the last division pack we finished? Okay. Okay, so we done the hydroxy, right? I'm not having done it. Oh, you have a Okay. Oh, do you do the MCQ again? Should I move on to natural command? Yeah. Nah, I won't be there, but I can do. Actually, we can finish it. Before I answer, the, answer you the question. Half an hour. I don't know how long. I think I can. You want to be here? Okay. 
slightly bit of your option. Either we do nitrogen compound. Um, any more questions from the alcohol package? Okay, option done. Nitrogen compound. I don't see package which I doubt anybody bought on doing. I, I took less time than I expected with couples yesterday. But I think I'm going very slowly. Right, I was good. Okay, right, I was very fun, right? Three. Oh, I should print the couple state as it for you to see something new. Um, you all haven't received cover now, right? So I'll, I'll give the allegations. You probably will you will probably get it your this way. Right? No man? Something so slow, huh? Oh, the big one. Oh, the big one. Maybe or we can normally revise our need to Okay, we can give you these three options. Let me bring the. Um, I mean, uh, my first is better, right? No one. No. Once finish, I do not have any organic chemistry. We do it because they are always together one way. The first is finish and then all together. Yeah, anyway, I print it off for your office. One set enough or you all need two sets? 35, 36. Okay, not as you call it, it's all inside. Okay. Okay, yeah, I print all the way to alcohol, um, nitrogen compound, two sets. 34, 36. Okay, 36 to 40. Eh, why do you think this is only? 36? No, 35? 36. Why, what? Because I like this highlight. So like, oh, oh really? Yeah. How your time practice was that there? Then who collected the paper then? But it's classes going on. But then yeah. so shouldn't you all be priority? No, but there's a what? That's damn weird. It's just like one teacher for them walking around. Yeah, I didn't even see him. Even like, when I went out to go to the toilet, I didn't see this guy. It's like, he was talking. That's so weird. Yeah, that's not the topic, actually. I give y'all each two sets, huh? So I've been eight, lah. It's for you to practice. It's not for you to memorize or... I mean, for you to memorize, lah, but it's not for you to hug on and study. I saw my own. Yeah. 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 Years, really? Wow. No, I did not. Not fun, right? Okay. I think when you learn something, 
there will be one point where like initially it's a bit hard and then you get a bit better and you like it and then when you have to get to the very very good stage that part is very hard and you get very fear when you do rush <laughs> I learned Taekwondo. Yeah, then like, I was this close to getting that belt. Oh my god, really? Nah, yeah. don't mess with her. You better give her your team. I tell you, she goes to that belt, I know. Mm, I stopped when I was in Taekwondo. Yeah, close to that belt, so cool. So, can you break a wood? Mm. No, I can't. Mm. No, it looks like taking a I think like those are, I watch kids on the internet break the boys. They're little kids. Yeah, I, do, I think those boys cheat yeah, boys. It depends on like the coach or so. No, I, I swear those bots have been rigged. Those bots have been rigged. <laughs> Don't believe everything you see on video. Seeing is no longer believing. Here we are. I bring this set for him in case y'all get it this week. Hey, Jagesh. You got to do your, your, your other package now. Do okay. a bit here, a bit there, one is it? No, no, no. The hydroxy, you think here? Yeah. You think this? You think so? I don't know. I don't have mine, because I gave you mine. Oh, mine is here. Oh, wow, mine is still here. I think so, I don't have a like months and months ago. Okay, so uh, I'll try to I'll do measure compounds this week. Okay, uh, this okay, so this is uh next this week and next week. Huh? This uh measure compound will run next week also because I probably won't finish today. Then next week I will also I will cohort organic chem everything. Hmm. Okay. Then um should I do solubility equilibrium? So I only equilibrium. Huh? Do you feel that you all need more practice? You all need... yes, I need more practice. Huh? Have you all finished? Have you all done the... you have, have, you, have you all received? Yeah. Haven't done, huh? Okay, then can you all do the ionic equilibrium revision package? Yeah, I guess you have it? Yeah. Okay, so I will go through these three things next week. Right? Okay, then the week after, I will do solubility equilibrium. After solubility equilibrium, then you only have two chapters already. Electrochem and um, and transition metals. Yeah. After everything. Because your planning will have transition also. Somehow you have... Somehow you have QA planning, then it contains transition. Yeah. Um, transition, I will need like... Actually, retro um, camp and training, I probably need two lessons each minimum. Minimum. This is sad. They really never scrapped our transition. It's been scrapped for two years because of COVID. It's seriously damn hard. It's really damn hard. You look at the book, right? Whatever you see on the book, right? It's not everything you need. It's, it's more. Then there. Then usually, if you take your school notes right for transition right, I I swear it's at least forty pages of the lecture notes. Actually, I have it. I can show you. Just scare you a bit. Okay, then you need to take your lecture notes. No, I hope it's better. Okay, I, okay, I'm wrong. It's not 40 pages, 38 pages. Is that any comfort? Yeah. <gasps> there is ooh, this transition. A lot of, so maybe, yeah, it is, it's a lot of words. It's all memory work, no? There's... Oh, okay, not only there's memory work, then huh, the worst thing is that they always test you things that um you wouldn't have known. Like, not from your lecture notes. Like, cannot tell one sometimes. But the things that uh, I know they convert a test, I will tell y'all uh, that y'all just make sure that those y'all know, y'all really go and memorize and, and get it right. Uh. This one. You know, that funny, last year I taught your seniors, then after that, because they initially they didn't remove, ma, until like, don't know when, 
uh, until it was until like halfway I teach halfway into the chapter, then they removed it. Cause I think there was a lockdown somewhere last year, right? When the Delta variant came about, like a mini mini oh. lockdown, right? Yeah, it wasn't like a it wasn't like the first lockdown that bad like, but it was a mini lockdown. Yeah, so at that point, then they took this out. So y'all, y'all want to get rid of this? Y'all just pray for another. I don't think so already. Yeah, they're really I'm so sorry. I dread this chapter as much as you guys do. And there's a reason why they call this is always the same last chapter for every school because it's so content typical. <laughs> Nobody would not do this as the last chapter. Yeah, it's too hard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come, let's move on to nitrogen compounds. Wow, today should be missing what? So when are you getting your time table? Haven't announced yet. They are so sleepy though. You will still be it today, is it? Yeah. You will update us, Ken, so we know what time to arrange lesson on Friday. So you get like half day Friday. Like, you know, you're actually considered right half days. Yeah, I hated retaking Chinese, it was so hard. You don't get to retake? No, I didn't retake. I didn't want to retake, yeah. Because last time, they speak the A, it wasn't like A. It was A1, A2. Then I got A2. It's actually, they're both A's. But, um, last time, um, it was Chinese is H1, right? Last time it's called AO, AO levels. H1 was called AO level last time. So Chinese, they call it AO level then. Yeah, but I was like, ugh, I didn't get my A1. But it's actually still considered an A, like, in today's context, like, in your, your level, your H2, H1 context, now. So I didn't want to stay back for freaking Chinese. Sian one eh, sian for freaking Chinese. Everybody like, those who take high Chinese not staying back. Then, then like, voila, then you like, loner, you like, maybe one other Jew who's very bad in Chinese. No, no, then, then it's always the last letter of the day. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I do not want to do it. Okay. It's my water. I need to see. Okay. It's good. Okay, today I can go through all the reaction. You have to you already receive all the summary here. I gave you all one shot. So you already have the carbon acid summary, you also have the nitrogen compound summary. The summary really also, also write for you all the comparison of the acidity you really. know. Okay? Okay, now the nitrogen compounds. The reason why you already know what is aiming group right? is the NH2. Okay, NH2 is primary aiming. Okay? So like that's why when we were doing the uh, acid chloride reacting the amide, okay, I introduced to your primary amide and secondary amide. Okay. So now here we have primary amine. Okay, if you have only one H, then it is secondary amine. If you have uh, no H, it is tertiary amine. Okay. You can also have four R groups. Okay, like here, this is called a quaternary ammonium salt. Okay, they are a bit like ammonium ion like that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, ammonia also have hydrogen bonding, okay, because for that to it, uh, N, right? Remember, FO or N gives you hydrogen bonding, right? Okay, um, they have higher bonding points than hydrocarbons because of hydrogen bonding, but they have weaker than uh, alcohol, okay, because NH bond is less polar than OH. Okay? Yeah. Solubility, they can dissolve in water because they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Okay, okay formation of amine. Okay, either you use lithium aluminium and dry ether. Okay, this is a nitron reduction. Huh? Okay, either you use lithium aluminium hydride in dry ether or you can use uh, hydrogen gas with nickel catalyst. The sodium ethanol is very seldom used. Uh, so, 
uh, you just need to recognize it in the sense that if question asks you uh, or if question shows this condition you just know that it's a reduction of nitro okay but the easiest one to remember by default is lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether. Okay. FYI is at 0 degrees Celsius. Last time to memorize what well, is the condition of the near memory. Okay, now, AMI reduction. Okay, so you can reduce CN, you can also reduce CONH2. Okay, basically, it just opens up the O and adds the hydrogen. Okay, or rather replaces the ore. Okay, then you get water as a byproduct. Okay, same same reducing agents as um nitro. Okay, or oh, this one very special. Please remember, you follow every time at the beginning. You always have problems with this one. Okay, nitro benzene to phenyl lamine. Okay, if you ever want to test nitro compounds, this one of those things you will test. Okay, changing the NO two to NH two. Okay, you will use clean catalyst, okay, excess clean catalyst with corn HCl reflux. Okay, now at this point, right, HCl and the basic amine group, right, will actually give you NH3 plus Cl minus. That's why that's part two, you have to add a NaOH. Okay, to liberate the HCl. Okay, so you can see product appears as this stock. So excess anyone which is added to free phenyl lamine, which is separated from the mixture via steam ventilation. Okay, the reduction can also take place using iron or hydrochloric acid or nickel and hydrogen at 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, but default condition we use is this one. Okay, tin with heat concentrated HCl. Okay, call concentrated HCl. Okay, so this is a specific use for using phenol amine or other aromatic amines where the NH2 is directly bonded to the benzene ring. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the basic properties. Uh, I, I think the only basic group, I think they're the only basic group. Yeah, I think they're the only basic group. The rest of the group. Okay, basically, it's due to the lone pair being available to accept a proton. Okay, the lone pair of nitrogen has a proton forming a basis from the proton, hence they can behave as a base. Okay, amines are not alkalized in water. Okay, the double arrow gives you ethyl, ethyl uh, ammonium ion. Okay, so it takes an H from water and gives you OH minus. Okay, they can also react with acids or dissolve in acids to give you salts. Okay, so you can see the um, NH2, the N in NH2 will accept the proton and give you NH3. Okay, then you'll form a salt with the chloride. So if you want to uh, get rid of the salt, you add OH minus and get ethyl amine water. Okay, the rest of the days, okay, uh, let's. Keep this up first, like just now. We go through our reactions first. Okay, good news, I have no mechanism. You really finish all the mechanism. Ooh, I should make it all right all the time, actually. Okay, this one is still comparing now. The base, so let's see. Can you move on now to fix? Fix, 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 fix. This is a pair for phenol lamy. Okay? The pair is always dominant. Not liquid, yeah. This kind of equals A2. It must be equal to bombing. Okay, similarly, when you do this to phenol, okay, you get the same reaction. And then it will yes, a similar reaction takes place with phenol and equals bombing. Okay, it will give you 2, 4, 6, 5 bromo phenol lami. Okay, which is a what APT. Okay, that is this initial of HBR. Yeah, if you are 2, 4, 6, try normal, phenyl lamine. Okay? Phenyl lamine is more reactive than benzene towards electrophilic star. Okay? Because the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen is delocalized into the benzene ring, okay, making it more susceptible to electrophilic attack. Okay? So the H2 looks activated the ring towards electrophilic star. So it's too far directing. 
Okay, so NH2 and OH are the most uh, powerful electron donating group or electron uh, ring activating groups. Okay, but between the two, OH is stronger than NH2. You know, follow? Okay, so if let's say you have to decide the direction, huh? let's say you have a uh, Okay, let's say you have something like that. Then when you do electrophilic sub, we have to the, determine the direction, right? Okay. The more powerful group will always determine the direction. You all follow? Okay, so let's say if I want to add like a six arrow string. So this one will be directing. So it's two for directing. Right? Okay, which means my product will have the NO2 at the two four position. Okay, so either here or here. Careful. Okay, or the outside. Okay. okay. So NH2 group will be the one activating the ring. Okay. Okay, now this group is Amex. Okay, so Amex uh, is a bit like amine, except we have one more thing, the C double O. Okay. And just having this C double bond O right will neutralize the basicity effect, which makes which makes A max neutral. Okay? So you need to be able to explain why A max are neutral, okay? Often uncontrolled. So you can draw something here. Okay? A max has the basicity high nothing point due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Okay? You have lost intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Means they can flow with each other because um then the NH2 then the O the O here contain no pair and also the O here contain will also contain no pair making available to uh from hydrogen bonds with NH2 also. Okay? So the water, so because they have four hydrogen bonds in water, solubility decreases with increasing carbon number standard, uh, because they have hydrophobic if you have two carbons. Okay? I think I got the so you say that you are neutral, okay, highlight this, okay, the neutral, highlight the neutral, okay, then explanation, okay, highlight the keywords, these are very important, huh? okay, the neutral, okay, because, okay, the electron withdrawing factor of the carbonyl group reduces the electron density of the N group, making it less effective as a proton acceptor, okay, in other words, okay, lone pair of the nitrogen is delocalized into the CO group. Very long story short of this. Okay, electron donating. Right. Electron withdrawing character of the carbonyl reduces the electron density of the nitrogen. So I cannot accept the okay. okay, so you think of it this way. When this lone pair Okay, when this lone pair, okay, so this is the A minus group. Okay, the lone pair right, will be localized over this region because this is electron rejoin. Okay, so this becomes less available to a separate So therefore, neutral. Okay. Um. The amines are prepared by the reaction of an acyl chloride with NH3 or amine. Okay, so amines with ammonia will give you this. Okay, it essentially is just eliminating the H and the Cl. It's a bit like your esterification, but it's not called um, it's not called amidification. This is such a okay. We just call it formation of amines. Okay, the reaction is a condensation. You can also call this a nucleophilic. 
It's because the nuclear pore is getting the lone pair. Think the lone pair on the end here and here will attack this electron deficient carbon. Okay, we don't need to know the mechanism, but again, just sharing with you, this is nuclear fluid suck. Okay, because these carbon here are electron deficient due to the C and the O. Okay, we covered this in the acid chloride just now, you recall it. Okay, so amine act as a nuclear file to attack electron deficient carbon in acid chloride. Okay, then this will give you your amine okay, and the HCl byproduct. Okay, page 310, next page. Okay, the reactions of AMAX. Okay, so AMAX are slowly hydrolyzed by keeping under the flux under the flux alkaline of acid. Okay, so here we have the same story. We just need to know or remember that we are sharing the expenses to find out the products of our own seeds. Okay, I will go to a few more and more. Okay, so we start with the other one. Okay, we can see that. Okay, carbohydrate acid will be an acid rack, so it's based on the carbohydrate acid. Okay, the AMAX, the NH2 group here will become NH3. Does NH3 react with acid? It does, right? Then you get NH4 plus. You follow? Okay, if you use alkaline and acid, okay, you use NH, it's plus, okay? Then, same question. The carbohydrate acid, does it react with the base? It does, right? Can you get the salt? Okay, the ammonia component do not react with the base, right? Hence, it stays as the ammonia. No? Okay, so if your story here involves a phenol, it could be a uh, here it's still a phenol. Okay, but like, like, like I said, you don't really need to memorize your product. Okay, you just need to know, you know, it's quite intuitive, right? You break, then you get their acid and the basic component. Then you just need to check whether that component react with your hydrolysis uh, region. No? Alright. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh. Okay. Here's the page three one zero one. Okay. Equals NaOH can be used to distinguish English and English from ammonia. Okay, because A much liberates NH3 when heated with NaOH, ammonium ion, uh, ammonium salt liberates NH3 on addition of NaOH without heating. Okay, this one is the uh, remember, um, set in your secondary school. Okay, ammonium salt plus base gives you salt, ammonium gas, and water. This is the, one of the two reactions of bases. Okay. Amides are less readily hydrolyzed compared to esters, okay, because uh, compared to esters, right, this is a, a more neutral group, okay. See, the CN bond is strengthened, okay, by the delocalization of the lone pair on nitrogen onto the CL bond O group, and this also results in the carbonyl carbon atom being less, sorry, being less electron efficient. So, it's less susceptible to a nuclear free effect, okay. Okay. Amides are not as a amides versus esters uh hydrolyzed hydrolysis so to be stress. Anyway, once we have something we call it. Okay. Okay. Uh reduction. Okay. So reduction of amides. Okay, so again the same three reagent. Okay, nickel aluminum has an dry ether, so they have ethanol or hydrogen gas over nickel catalyst at one forty. Okay? It just opens up this one, change it to a and H2. Okay, so this is an entire loop here. The CO and H2 will become CH2 and H2. Okay, this is the change. Okay, so this is aluminum hydride, we have suddenly water, so must be dry ether, and we can use sodium bar hydride, same story. Let's see. I believe that's all the reactions in the yeah, rest of properties. So I'll cover the properties next week. Yeah. Um let me go collect the rookies from y'all and then um, yeah.
So two copies of the message and material concurrence test. Okay. Message is really difficult. Yes, we got injury. We are probably and that's pretty hard. Yeah, she is to be whenever I learn my my little this is the one. This one 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 Okay, so homework is Ionic Equilibrium Revision Package and revise your move this to this one and a half chapter. That's all. Okay, I'll end the recording now.